bro. How are they gonna have pizza, bro? <laughs> what kind of crap is that? <laughs> I'll get one if they're not looking. I'll burn a lot, see. <laughs> man, I saw that. I was like, man, that's dirty. <laughs> How are you gonna do dirty like that? <laughs> not good. Man, uh, good sparring today, brother. Good Thank sparring. You. Thank you. Um, what? I, I was talking to your dad. He said you've only uh, faced one softball opponent up to this point. Is that is that some something to get used to? Still inspiring, but I mean, I know you sparred a lot of those guys coming up and stuff, right? Being against the softball is nothing new. It's, I've been one. I've been against one in one fight, but that I spar against softballs all the time. It's nothing new. I was gonna say what what's like the um, the hardest part just to maybe re remember when you kind of get back in there with the softball. What's like the the stuff you gotta. Nothing to be honest. It's just fighting. Yeah, I mean, every softball has their own style, and it's not like one thing works for all the softballs. You still have to figure them out as a fighter. Mm -hmm. So I figured them out just like I figure everyone else out. Mm -hmm. The uh, the foot battle. Do you, do you kind of pay a lot of attention to that, or are you just kind of doing what you do? I don't have it. If they want it, I'll let them have it. Really? Yeah. So you're comfortable with the input? With input. anything. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Wow, nice. Just from your experience all this time with it? Yeah. That's awesome, man. With, with this guy, uh, uh, McKinson, is he a tall guy too? I see you're kind of your sparring partner. Oh, well, you know? <laughs> I was going to say, you were in there with a guy like 6'3 or something like that. How, how's that? Because you got to get up to him, right? Yeah, um, just timing. Timing, yeah, timing overcomes everything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the more a guy's in there with you, that the, the power's getting to them a little bit? Do you, do you see that kind of what we were talking about earlier? Uh, maybe not the resignation necessarily, but the, the, the give and, and the things that they're doing, yeah. their strategy and stuff like yeah. that. Um, the longer they're in there, the, the more I feel the rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, more, the more time I had to figure them out, you know, the yeah. more time I had with them, the better, better off you are. Yeah. yeah. Man, it just uh, got announced. Uh, Canelo versus Rival, it's official now. Yeah, Mark May 7th. May 7th. You, like you said, that was that was the tougher one of, of all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. Uh, man, that's, that's a good fight. I'm glad it got announced. That's a. Yeah. Really big and dangerous fight for Canelo and uh, the, the fans for, for sure need to tune in on that one. Yeah. How is it that you think Canelo handles the weight so well, right? Because he moved from, well, I want to say 47 when he was, you know, just coming up and then 54 kind of established himself, yeah. 60 obviously. He's just a naturally strong fighter and uh, I mean, I can't speak for him, but it looks like he handles the weight pretty good. You know, some people get slow. Mm -hmm. Canelo is a, a fast, explosive fighter. Uh, and the defense, he has a lot of good defense. So the higher weight he goes, you know, um, he can take care of himself. Yeah. Do you feel your defense is, is underrated? I feel like you can hit a whole lot in, in those fights. And you're not one of those slick, you know, what I mean, Cornell Whitaker type or Floyd yeah. where, where you see the miss, but I mean, you're not going to hit that much. I feel like it's a little underrated. Uh, people just don't understand, I guess, you know. Uh, I see a lot of people doing all this slick stuff, but I see them get hit a lot more cleanly. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, man. Man, what, what have we got, like three weeks left? Four weeks left? Something like that? Yeah. What's, what, what, when do you start like the, the major weight cut to, to where you gotta like, alright, start watching the, what you're eating, kind of it's, all that stuff? It's all gradual. Really? It's, it's gradual. Um, Basically, I just stop eating bad, like I eat, <laughs> and I eat like a normal person, and my weight drops. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I have to pick up eating because my weight drops too early, too soon. You know, so it's not it's not even a big deal for me. You know? So, so you definitely don't eat pizza getting close. Yeah. <laughs> hey, even today. <laughs>